to protect yourself against mosquitoes. This year, there'll be a new bug spray to compete with current repellents that contain the chemical DEET. Here's some fast facts. The American Academy of Pediatrics says repellents with DEET should not be used on infants less than two months old, and it's believed to be unsafe for pets. But this new product contains what's called BioUD, an organic compound local researchers discovered right here at NC State. NBC 17's Shirley Min breaks down the differences between the two products. Bugs like blood-sucking mosquitoes and ticks are known to carry dangerous diseases like West Nile virus and Lyme disease. Controlling these pests and the prevention of these diseases is really, really important. And then there's a nuisance problem with... This is where insect repellent comes in, many of which contain DEET. The public has lost confidence in the safety of DEET. We're afraid to put DEET on little children, but they definitely need protection from insects. That's why the NC State professors spent the past five years inventing Bite Blocker, an organic alternative containing the active ingredient BioUD derived from tomatoes. Tomatoes? Almost. Almost sounds edible. The Environmental Protection Agency has four categories for toxicity, category one being the most toxic. DEET is in category three, whereas BioUD and citronella are in category four. It offers the efficacy of DEET, so it has the highest effectiveness. It also has a very wide range of insect targets. So this side is uh, treated with BioUD, this side is not treated with the, uh, the the uh, insect repellent. You can see they're definitely she keeps moving hungry. Along on there. It's completely different when you put the repellent on there. Um, if there's something that is as effective, that's organic and doesn't have all the you know chemicals, then that's what we prefer trying. The researchers here at NC State are optimistic that BioUD will one day replace DEET altogether. In Raleigh, Shirley Men, NBC 17 News. I just start itching when I see those bugs yeah. on that arm. Bite blockers expect to be available soon in North Carolina. It'll cost about seven bucks. The product is registered with the EPA. Inventors are just waiting on approval from the state, which they expect within the next few weeks. For a list of retail stores that'll sell it, go to keywordnews at NBC17.com.